Now before we go and take a look at the actual Photos app, let's first talk about what happens if you've been using iPhoto or Aperture. How do you import your photos into the new Photos app? Let's go to my Mac. First thing we're going to talk about is how we import or convert our iPhoto library or even Aperture library into the new Photos app. To do that, all we have to do is just open up Photos. So I have Photos in my dock. Let's go ahead and select it. So now Photos is open. Next thing I have to do is I have to click on Get Started. And now what's going to happen is Photos is going to convert my iPhoto or Aperture library into a Photos library. So now what happens when it converts this library? Well, it actually creates a new library. Then what it does is it imports your photos from your older library, such as your iPhoto library. Now the nice thing about the way that this works is you can still open up your iPhoto or Aperture library. If I go to my Finder, let's go ahead and go to my Finder here. And then we go over to Pictures. This is where my iPhoto library is. You're going to see that I now have two libraries, an iPhoto library and a Photos library. So if I wanted to open up iPhoto, I can still open up iPhoto. Now if you continue to use iPhoto or Aperture, any edits that you make are not going to show up in the Photos library because they're two separate libraries here. So if you want the edits to be carried in the Photos app, you have to do all of the edits in the Photos app. You do not want to do them in iPhoto or Aperture. Now the next question you may have is, can you delete the old iPhoto or Aperture library? I have my iPhoto library here. Can I delete it? Yes, you can. What Photos did is it moved all of the photos from the iPhoto library into the Photos library. So you're not taking up twice as much space on your computer here. What I would recommend is keeping the iPhoto or Aperture library just as a backup until you're comfortable with the new Photos app. Now let's go back over to Photos. I'm going to open up my Photos here. And we can see we have all of my Photos. So these were all in my iPhoto library. So what happened to all of my events? Or if I'm using Aperture, my projects and stacks? Well, Photos converts events, projects, and stacks into albums. So I used iPhoto, so I had events. If we go up to albums here, you're going to see that I have a folder containing iPhoto events. So any projects, stacks, or events are going to be converted into albums in the new Photos app. Now what about the photos that you rated and flagged in iPhoto? With the new Photos app, you can't rate photos and you can't flag them. All you can do is favorite them. Well, any photos that were rated or flagged now have a keyword attached to them. And you're going to see if we go up to Window here, we have Keyword Manager. And when I select this, we have our keywords here. And in my case, I have a keyword for flagged. If I rated any photos, I would have keywords for 5-starred, 4-starred, and so forth. So what about places? Well, places can still be found if we go back to our collection. So I'm going to close the window here for our keywords. And now I'm going to go back to Photos. And when we're looking at our photos, we can view them as moments, collections, and years. So I'm looking at my collection here. And you're going to see I have a number of photos from the North Atlantic Ocean. So when I click on this, we have a map and it shows me where they were taken. Let's go ahead and go back. Let's take a look at Holland Lake Town. Click on it, and we can see where the photos were taken. So photos still has places. We just have to look at them while we're looking at our collections. Now the photo does have to have location data for this to work. Any photo taken with an iPhone has location data. Now what you used to be able to do in iPhoto and Aperture was add a location to a photo that did not have location data. As a version 1 of the Photos app, you cannot do that. So if you take photos with a camera that doesn't record the location data, you're not going to be able to place them on a map with Photos 1.0. So the question is, do you want to use the new Photos app? Well, if you're coming from iPhoto, I say that Photos is a definite step up. 
The only feature that it's really missing is adding location data to photos that do not have location data. Other than that, you're really not going to miss much in the new Photos app from iPhoto. Now, if you come from Aperture, it could be a much bigger adjustment to go to the new Photos app. There are many features in Aperture that are just not present in the new Photos app. But it all depends on how you used Aperture. I mainly used Aperture to help me organize my photos. And with the new Photos app, I find it actually easier to keep my photos organized. So making the jump from Aperture to Photos, for me, it wasn't that big of a step. But if you used a lot of the features that Aperture had to offer, you may want to hold off on using the Photos app. So that's how we import or convert our iPhoto library or Aperture library in the new Photos app.